Welcome everyone. In this video we'll demonstrate how to crimp a Molex pin. First we need to take a look at the pin in and of itself. This wing here is going to crimp around the insulation. This wing here is going to secure the wire, the bare wire. One thing, you, one thing is you do not want to get your crimper on this area of the pin or it will cause you trouble when you try to insert or remove the pin. On these particular pins, this wing here tends to be a little bit too long for the 20-22 gauge wire, so I like to clip it short. And we'll do that here. like so. This happens to be a generic Molex tool, crimping tool, and you can see there are several openings for various sized pins and gauges of wire. It's pretty much a visual thing as far as which one you want to use. You'll see how they, uh, how they uh, fit in there with the various gauge of wires and sizes of pins. Normally for this pin I insert this into the uh, crimper as such with the wing up against the wings up against the tool and you can see here on the back side the tool just just fits in there so we won't damage that that area I pointed out earlier and fits right in there. Insulation just goes up to the tool itself. You then crimp it and you can see the wire is secured. Give it a little pull test. Make sure it's all tight and then we'll go to the insulation crimp here. I like to push them in a little bit before I put them in the crimper. It makes it work a little easier. I generally use a size larger or so. And there we crimp that down. And you can see how it has secured the insulation very nicely. Everything is nice and secure. And your pan is ready to be inserted into the Molex connector. I'll insert, insert this one in. It goes in this end here and There it is. Now you have a nicely crimped pin and wire that's secure and not going to pull out.